What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Winnipeg Jets Here we are up at free agency decent draft Stanley Cup champions and that's what matters most so before we get into uh, Anything we're doing here in free agency. We got three winners to read off from last year No clean sweeps, but we got three guys with two correct first up is Rasmus S guessing Shifley and Vasilevsky. Vasilevsky on the goaltender side was up there all on his own. And I think the leader for the, the, the forwards was Kucherov that year. So congrats to you. Next up, we got Sam Appleby guessing Tessier and Vasilevsky. Tessier, of course, leading our defense in scoring. So congrats to you. And last but not least, we got Zodiac 23JJ with Tessier and Vasilevsky as well. Oh, yeah. And it's a good thing you didn't get all three correct because you wouldn't have been counting. You guessed two defensemen. So the only thing you can guess two of is two forwards. Otherwise, because the odds for that are worse. Otherwise, it's got to be one forward, one defenseman. So bear that in mind there, Zodiac. But since you only, you know, you only got two right anyway, I'll, I'm giving it to you. So there you go. So congrats to the three of you. And now we move on here to what will likely be a quiet free agency. Maybe we acquire a depth forward. That's about it. I'm going to check on that, see what we got in terms of uh, forwards who could be depth for us, essentially. There's your top six. Third line. Ooh, wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, now it's the top six. So we got Gotch and then Rosvik Lowry, third line, I guess. I was hoping for other guys to jump up. Gardner. Oh, yeah, we're actually going to need at least one. For sure. We're going to have more guys, like, coming up next year, but damn. Yeah. We are definitely going to need some uh, some forwards here. For sure, at least at least one. So all right, let's look for a forward then, I guess. We might have to use one of these other guys. I didn't want to initially because they're playmakers and they're not that great. I mean, Rhett Gardner's there for sure, but he's the only guy right now slotted into the fourth line. If my eyes do not deceive me. Uh, yeah, we can put Shore up there. He's not horrible, but he's not optimal. I'm hoping Gustafson's ready. Maybe this year we put him in there anyway. He's 78 now. If he gets a slight jump, he should be ready. So I'm actually, yeah, we could we could use a right winger, and then we might have to use Shore for depth. That might be where we're at this year. Because there's nine. We only got ten guys 100% slotted in. Maybe 11. And 12. Yeah, we'll need a... Yeah, I think we're going to have to use Shore as depth and get ourselves a, a right wing fourth liner here. Yep. All right, so I'm glad. Glad we checked in on that. So let's do that. Immediately before I forget. We also have that Lee guy. Probably going to trade him. I mean, I can't really do. I'll, I'll see if he, someone wants to sign him. We can maybe get some picks for him, or we'll see what he's asking for. Actually, that'll be better. Anyway, let's go to forwards for now. Sort by overalls. Look for a fourth line type guy here. Are there no fourth line right wingers? <laughs> Hold on, really? Where, where, are the, where are the right wingers at? I mean, there's some down here. Okay. Zikov, Levo. Wayne Simmons. <laughs> He's 36, though. I don't think that's happening. Sherwood, as I recall, is actually kind of good. I don't know how good he'll be in this one, but that's a very affordable type deal. A 
We won't necessarily need it though. We can go all the way up to around 1.7. It's like Chason would be okay to get. He's actually kind of solid looking at his defense. Has decent poise, could bring a bit of offense as well. Take some penalties. Not a huge fan of the penalty taking. But he could have been playing third line or he's on second line. So maybe that's part of it. It says that at least. I'm kind of feeling Chase on here. It locks us up, but we don't really need anything else. I'll only get him for one year. I'm really liking Chase on here, I think. Problem is, if he does decline, that's a kind of a bad contract for a guy who's declining. He is 34. Zach Aston Reese is another guy who might actually be slightly better. Hard to say. It's really hard to say. This is tough because we don't know much about any of these guys. I can maybe even take a chance on a couple. Like grab Shearwood and then grab a guy on a two-way. And kind of see which one jumps up the most. Either way, our fourth line is not going to be very strong this year. That's kind of kind of what's going on here. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go for... I, we have to go for what's cheap, essentially. I'm going to try to just give him a one-by-one one deal. He might actually accept that, even though it's less than what he's asking for. So we'll do that. What's this guy? I have no, know nothing about him. I wish I knew just a little bit. Brett Ritchie, I don't know anything about either. McCarron. That looks like HL stats, maybe. I don't know if we're going to find any two-way guy who's anywhere close to being good at the NHL level. That's, the, that's another issue. So I could try finding two guys for around that one mil mark. Oh, hello. Well, there's guys like this. Okay, these guys aren't right wingers, but we yeah, they're, we can afford them. Oh, look at what cop wants. What the hell? What a dick. What's Kopaka like? Ooh, pretty good. Reese's better defensively. Miles Wood's kind of solid. Don't like the lower discipline, and he hits a lot, so he'll maybe get in penalty trouble. Yeah, I guess they don't have to be a right winger. Amadio, are those AHL stats? Yeah, that's AHL stats. I was wondering, like, that looks really high. But, I mean, he, could, he should only be like 78 or something. He's a righty. So let's actually, we're actually going to grab, um, I wish I knew more about him. I know nothing about his defense, so I'm kind of leaning against it. All right, let's look at chemistries. None of them really fit into our chemistries. VC fits in as a penalty killer, that's it. Ah! This is, I'm taking probably way longer on this than I need to. You know, I'm just going to go for Amadio because we're already, already signing the other guy as well. So I wanted to get two just for safety reasons. Let's just do that. At least he's a righty, you know. So we'll do that. That's all we need here in free agency. And what I, Another thing I will do is probably extend Honka. I don't really see a, a way to trade him right now. That will, that will really be able to do, considering what our defense looks like. So I think we should uh, extend Honka here. Um, I could wait. And see if I can maybe get him for cheaper when the season starts. Or at least after free agency, see if I maybe am able to get him for cheaper. But I don't know if we're going to get him for much more cheaper. And right now... We can get it for 535, which is pretty good. I'll do that for, yeah, you know what? Let's just do that. 
It's a pretty good deal. So let's do that. Text him up till he's around 33. When his decline will start or something. We may come to the point where Morrissey needs to get moved. But we're not quite there. We're, we'll be at it when we need to extend Lambos probably. But at that point, you know, he'll, we'll have the replacements. So that's good. We're, everything's kind of lining up pretty good here. And we've already won a couple cups. So we're, we're in good shape. I like, I like where we're at. And I think that's about it here. I've already gone ahead and done the coaching and stuff. I couldn't, no better scouts were there. So Stan and Pat, that's why you sign your scouts. Um, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Oh, I should leave Lisa. Ah, whatever. Someone will pro, I can trade him if he doesn't get signed. Speaking of which, what is he, what is he, I forgot to check that. What's he asking for? I want to know his asking price just in case someone's going to tender him. Which might be a possibility here. Let me actually check that before we go too much further. He's asking for 4.8. Okay, 4.8. What would that get us? Four point eight mil would get us. This year's first and third. If it goes through. Otherwise, we'll get a second. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Getting a first and third for the guy. Yeah, I don't care. Okay. We'll leave him in. If we if he doesn't, you know, if he doesn't get tendered, then we, we can trade him. Yep, I'm, I'm cool with that. That's a pretty good deal. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's that? Oh, my God. <laughs> yes, our, our staff chemistry is definitely e excellent, Mr. Burns. Welcome to the team as an NHL assistant coach. I gave the people what they wanted, and we got the goalie coach for the AHL who to replace the person who retired. So there we go. We are set. Now we just got to get the players. Got to get the players. All right, we got Amadio, and we got Shearwood. Okay. He likes the idea he'll be a go-to man. We'll see. We'll see how good you are. Okay, so I'll probably use Amadio as depth initially. I'll probably sw swap them out. I want to get him scouted as best I can if I can. We shall see, but I think that's going to be it here. I think that's all we offered. Yes, indeed, there's a trade that happened. Oh, yeah. Okay, when we got Honka back to an extension. So, perfect. All right. So that is everything. We're going to advance here. I'll get the lines and such taken care of. I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right. So I think these are going to be our lines here moving forward. Vessel Linen, Shifley, and Line on the top line. Caulfield, Wong, Ehler, second line. So the same top six. But this is where it gets interesting. Roslevic, Lowry, and Gotch now on the third line. Gardner, Gustafson, Sherwin on the fourth line. So our bottom six took a hit. Depth-wise, obviously, because, well, money. More money uh, more money spent, more problems, I guess. Hopefully, Gustafson's ready. I'm, I'm really counting on He's got good face-offs. I really like him. He's 25. It's time to, for him to start trying to integrate into this lineup, I think. So, we're going to give that a shot. See if it works out. Defensively, Byram Tessier, Honka Morrissey, same top four. Lambos and Hanola now. Um, minus one, but what can you do? <laughs> What can you do about that? Not too much. So we need Lambos in there. Hanola's obviously he's he's the guy in there. He hit him only like one mil over the bunch of years. So yeah, we are we're pretty set. Goaltenders, of course, Hellebuck, and we're gonna try Wharton out now. Wanted me to start him in the AHL, but I'm not gonna do that simply because Lindgren is would have to be put on waivers and I don't want to lose him for free especially if I need that backup so we're going to do it like this try to see if Warden is indeed ready for backup role and if he is we'll keep him up there if not we could send him down and call up Lindgren so that's the uh that's the idea with that special teams power play we can't get a plus uh three anymore no more land of Skog, which is interesting because it's still it's almost the same that's what we had before. I guess the coaching's different. Oh, yeah, the coach. Yeah, yeah. Um, second unit, Caulfield, Wong, Gotch, Honka, Morrissey. So not as many uh, good productive forwards either, so we have to go two defensemen here. But Honka and Morrissey both have decent offensive-type stats, so we should be fine still. 
Here's the four man. Get a minus here, but that's not a big deal. Penalty kill. Got to the evens. Roslovic Gardner, Byram Honka, Gotch, Lowry, Tessier, Lambo. So no Morrissey until we get to here because he actually makes it a minus one instead of a minus two. So Tessier is going to get a bit of PK time. We'll see how he does on there. Historically, we've had a pretty good PK, but it wasn't outstanding last year. So let's see. Four and four lines here. Shifley, Line A, Tessier, Byron, Wong, Vesa, Line Now, I might switch this up, go with Caulfield, Ehlers above Wong and Vesa, Line A, just because it's more pass or shooter type deal. Wong can kind of do a bit of both, but he wasn't that big on it last year. He didn't get tons of points last year. We need more out of him this next year for sure. So we're going to give him some extra ice time. Neither of them really shoot. That's the only issue, but in that case, you could like pair him up with there, but yeah. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'll leave four and four the way it is, but three on three, I want Caulfield Ealers getting more ice time. Yeah, because Caulfield's a shooter. Ealers is a good passer. I like it better. All right. So there we go. Amadio Dahlstrom as our depth tentatively. I don't know how good Amadio is, but I'm sure we'll have an injury at some point. We'll figure out how good he is whenever. <laughs> We shall see. But yeah, we are good to go. Captain's all still the same. Shifley, Line A, Morrissey as the alternate. I think our heir apparent Tessie is going to get an A when Morrissey uh, is gone. But yeah, for now, no letter. For now, same captains. All right. Well, I think we're ready here. I think we've done everything we need to do. I still can't give extensions, right? I have to actually wait till... I'm pretty sure it's like... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like around the trade deadline. But I'm, I'm just going to keep checking whenever. Just because I want to do it AS as soon as I can. Literally. As soon as I can. Okay. Now let's get this team fully scouted here. See how we do throughout pre... What's up with all the back-to-backs in preseason now? <laughs> I think it's been like that a bunch of years in a row. Whatever, at least we'll play both goalies, right? At least we should. I I don't know what to make of this year quite yet, you know? Okay, here's... Oh, yeah, we got to trade Lease. That's right. Decline that trade. No one, no one's offer sheeted him yet. Let's, let's actually go up to this first month because it won't really matter. Um, yeah, yeah, everyone's assigned. Here we go. We won the first game of the season. Lost the second one. That's a tough loss, but all right. Two, two and one to start off. I don't think anyone's going to offer sheet the guy, especially at this point. If anything, the price is just going to go down. So, you know, I'm actually going to stop here and just make the trade with Lee's myself because he might be asking for less now because season started. That's what they do. So I'm actually going to trade his rights right now while I still can. Because if someone offer sheets him... Can't do much. We can get a, per, almost a first out of the guy from a really good team. From a champion team, we can get a first. Don't want to trade with the Lightning. Flyers are good. Kind of want to trade for, with a champion team who might not be that great, but all of them are starting off really strong. I don't know why I'm trying to get lucky with this. I might be still looking for that righty defenseman, you know? <laughs> Yeah, all the ones, all the people who should be good are good, besides maybe Anaheim. So let's trade them to Anaheim. Maybe they struggle this year. I highly doubt it with their team. We're just going to make them better. I don't have a first. Oh, God, Vegas. Come on. Did you guys, did you guys actually get Landeskog? Hold on. Did they get Landeskog or did he go elsewhere? It looks like he went elsewhere. So poor, poor everyone on this team. Poor Schmidt. Poor Haz. You guys are stuck. And they have 21 million of cap space to spare. Good gracious. All right, let's just trade him to someone who has a first here. Lightning don't. Cool. Okay, no one has a first. It's got to be a champion team. That's our only hope of getting a first back. There we go. Ugh. What's, he's tendered. Damn it. I'm spending way more time than I need to on this. Who was the last champion team? Ducks, right? 
I think they didn't have a first, yeah. Okay, so no one has a first. Contenders like, yeah, they don't actually even want to give it up. Hopeful. Yeah, the pi ah, damn, it's, see, it's because they're listed as hopefuls. It has to be a champion. So Flyers, I can take back one of their players, to be honest. I didn't, wait, who was it? Oh, Nashville. <laughs> Jesus. How annoying. At least I should be able to. If they don't accept, this will be a bunch of wasted time, but whatever. Can't afford half of the guys. It has to be like one year left with like no price. Oh, man. There's like no one. They literally have like no one I can take unless I get someone for multiple years, which wouldn't be the end of the world. We have plenty of cat. We have plenty of roster space. But I'm pretty bummed about that. When was this guy drafted? He might be actually decent. This guy, first round, might be actually decent. Ugh. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get much here. I have to take back a player. So I don't think this is actually going to work the way I want it to. So let's kind of grab something else here. Oh, they have Tampa's pick. All right, maybe they'll actually give up Tampa's pick. But no, see, they maybe they'll have a better one year left kind of guy. <laughs> oh my god, the money. Stop. Where is a guy with just one year left on a crap deal? There. Two-way deal, one year left. There we go. Are you? Oh, I watch him not accept. Now I knew it. Not it. Not okay. I'm not gonna get a first. It's just not happening. Let's find a team to get some seconds from. Hopeful team of some sort who want him. Of course. Now none of that. None of them want him. Cool. None of the hopefuls want him. They <laughs> oh, this is the hardest thing that shouldn't be hard. Ever. Oh, yeah, cool. No seconds for you either. Why would you have seconds? There we go. Second. Should probably be able to get two seconds. Fuck me, man. This is way harder than it needs to be. <laughs> oh, my gosh. This Kavanov guy. Oh, it's two-way, even though it's a little bit more. Interesting. We're still league approved if we do that. Oh my god. Fine. Just give me picks. Any sort of picks. Give me a third. I don't care. Just give it to me. Just a bit low. Oh my gosh. I got unsigned guys for you, though. It's not the end of the world. There you go. So they said something. I forgot what they said. Oh, someone's got to be put on waivers. Awesome. Can you just do it anyway? Nope. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Who's got ro who's got fucking roster space? There. Rebuilder. Oh, they're not going to want to give up seconds. Whatever. They got roster space. They do want to give up a second. Okay, okay, we found a match. They're not going to want to give up two seconds, that's for sure. I'll try it anyway, but there's zero chance that works, yeah. All right, whatever. We're, we're getting we're getting a second at least, though. Probably not going to be able to get a third. Oh, don't do this. Just give me a second straight up. Thank you. I don't care. <laughs> they started doing the, oh, we're going to have to sign people. Screw you. I'll just give me a pick for the guy. We didn't get a first and third like we could have done if he was tender, but he ain't worth that. Let's be let's be honest. So we're done with that, which took way friggin' longer than it should have. But hey, it is what it is. EA's fun. Look, see, he put he passed waivers. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another loss here. Not the strongest of starts. Uh 
But all right, let's just do some low leads here. Auto Scout should take care of most of the a lot of the first round at least. We're not gonna have any great pick. We're not planning to have any great pick in the in the first round. Second round where it's at, we got another second now. So the low elites are gonna be in uh, high demand this year. Quite a few. There are quite a few possibilities here. Now these ones, way less likely as always, but still worth taking a look at here. Get us off to a good start. All right. That guy definitely with a good chance. Ooh, you know what? This guy could be a top six, so make sure we get him looked at. That guy right there, definite possibility. And I'll scout the other few that are here too, because why not? There's not too many, so let's target them. Alrighty, and you're not worth it. You're not really worth it either, but I'm doing it anyway. Anyone else? Not particularly. This guy could be top four, so I'll look at him. But that's about it. Alright. Three, two, and one here. Not the greatest. They want to give us Silverberg, no thanks. Get my picks off the block. Get everything off the block. There we go. Alright, come on Winnipeg. There we go, a couple shootout wins there. 5-3-1, and one, third in the division. We, can, we should be winning a bit more. I, I'm, I'm not like it. I think we're still good enough. Team player, good job, gotch. I feel like we're still good enough to not be playing, not be 5-4-1, and one, especially in our offense. Jesus, but apparently not because we're just not getting the job done whatsoever. Now we're now below 500 somehow. Oof, God damn it, Gustafson. Only 77. He's listed as fourth line though, so I'm leaving him there. Lambos is 82, so we'll move him up to there. Put in Dahlstrom in all lines. He's not out for too long. Let's just give Lambos a bit of extra ice time, though. Come on. There we go. That's better. Seven, six, and one, though. Still not great. We're out, out. We're actually not even in a playoff spot right now, which is interesting. Not something I anticipated. Wow, our locker room chemistry is in the toilet. What the hell? Interesting. Not too sure what to make of that. I don't know why that's really a thing either, but okay. We did lose some guys, but... Yeah, first line, not getting the job done. Only 11 points for line A. 13 for Shifley. 17 for Veselainen, though. Caulfield's only got 8 points. 10 for him. Ehlers has only got 11. Really lacking. Tessier's got 10. I bet you it's our power play. Bet you there might be a slight issue with our power play. I'm not too sure. Yeah, third line isn't getting any sort of depth scoring. Bottom six is struggling. Wharton's not doing too bad. Why, are they, why is he playing? So, oh, I guess he's playing so much because Hellebuck's absol absolutely shit in the bed. And yeah, he's, he's an 80, so yeah, he's ready. Hellebuck's doing poorly, so like really, really bad. He's only got two wins in eight games played. His stats are terrible. Get good, man. You gotta step it up here. It's a bit on our goaltender. It's a bit on our scoring right now. We gotta be better. Plain and simple. And we have the tools necessary. I'm not we don't it's not like we don't have the tools. Just top six has to do better. You gotta do better, top six. Just, you have to. I mean, you're 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 top six for a freaking reason. Do it. Get the job done, man. You got you got enough chemistry, you got enough skill. Win, win some games here. Morrissey's back. Good for us. Lambo's got a bit of extra ice time there. Help him out a bit. We 
we're getting tons of chemistry too from our defense. It really doesn't make sense why we're uh, struggling. Well, let's let's hope it's just you know a, little, a bit of the old cup rust here, and we start turning things around now. Four wins in a row. Let's keep stringing them together here. There we go. That's better. We're starting to get the offensive guns going. There. Okay, that's better. Looking better. Jumped in the second here. Good stretch right here. Tough loss. How do we respond? Are we going to come back with a win? There we go. Okay. Better. And we're in a little bit of a tight division. That's a tough loss, but they are a good team over there in Philly. There we go. It doesn't matter. It's all right, man. You'll be fine. I'm a little worried that he's going to get morale minuses right now. You know what? Let me agree with him. Better chemistry or more ice time. Um, I'm going to do ice time because that's easy. I could just move him on to the second line for a minute. Oh, I didn't get any morale boost. Whatever. We're not getting any minus. Stop the sim. Tough loss. Let me get him a bit more ice time right here. Vasilainen's killing it. <laughs> Ehlers might complain after this, but whatever. So let's get Gotch a bit more ice time. Sim up slightly. Get him to just stop complaining, essentially. Need some wins here. Another tough loss. Come on, Winnipeg. We're better than this. Good win. Come on, Gotch. I'm giving you extra. Thank you. <clears throat> You're welcome. Happy I could help. We're losing locker room chemistry continuously. Well, we went up to 73, and then we lost it now down to 72. We lost another game right there as well. There we go. Stop complaining. Only got six. Yeah, uh, it's pretty rough, our production down here in that third line. That's the biggest issue. Caulfield, though, is scoring goals like crazy. We do, uh, 25. All right, yeah, we're starting to get more production. Ehlers could use a bit more. But okay, there we go. We're starting starting to get more production. Starting to wake up here. That's good. So we're trending in the right direction. I'm not we're obviously not hitting the panic button. We figured it could be a bit rough. This is a much it's much different. We don't have a stacked bottom six anymore. Top six, you know, we're missing Landeskog. Oh, we're at the first stat break. 11, 16, and 1. Not horrible. We wish it was better, but what else can we really do, really? Where we're at right now. Not a whole lot. Ugh. I could, I would like more goals for. I think that's trending in the right direction. Goals against though, no, 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 no. Guys, it's got. We're, come on, really? With Hellebuck in our defensive core, come on. Power play is okay. Ugh, penalty kills trash. And terrible on home ice. And five, five, and zero oh in the last ten. Yeah, I don't know, man. Pretty rough right now. Production's getting better. We're getting to the point where we want to be. But yeah, lacking any sort of third lot. Production is really hurting us. Our depth production is non-existent. And that's really hurting. Even T Tessier should be getting more points, too. But whatever. This is this is the biggest issue. Okay, he's gotten better, at least. He's now got a positive record. So, yeah, I think we just had a rough start. I think we're going to keep trending in the right direction here. So, yeah, we'll just keep it going here. I think... I think we'll kind of solve a lot of these issues on our own. Hopefully we continue scoring, though. We need to continue scoring. And defense needs to keep improving. But mostly we really need to get the scoring up. That will solve a lot of our issues. Get to scoring with the top six like we know we should be able to do. A lot of these wins are close, man. <laughs> I don't I don't feel as like comfortable simming long, long periods of time as I have, you know, in, in the past. But that's the way it goes, man. Look at that. Plenty of guys who are close to the low elite here. And a lot of them around that second round. We'll see. Hoping for a couple there in the second round that we could swoop up. Definitely need to uh, refresh our scouting pool a tiny bit. Alrighty. Awful lot here. My goodness. And yeah, I'm going to scout most of them here. Towards the end, I do more targeted scouting, but definitely want as much info as possible.
Now, one thing I want to make sure of is that we continue to turn in the right direction, especially on the defensive side of things. That was a horrible start for Hellebuck. But, like I said, I think our issues should solve themselves, really. When I mean, for the most part... We we shouldn't we shouldn't lack production in our in our top six. Plain and simple, like they sh over the course of this year, they should get to where they need to be. You know, point per game guys on the first line, 60, 70 point guys on the second line. That's what we need out of them this year, and I think they should be able to get there. Defense is was kind of more of the shock, considering Hellebuck and considering what our defensive core still looks like. It's still really good, it's still better than half the defensive cores. Well, actually, pretty much all of the defensive cores in the NHL. But yeah, all right, whatever. I'm just... ah, God damn it, these regulation losses. And Lowry's injured. That's rough. December 20th. At least we could sub in that other dude and see what he's like. Amadio. Good win right there. We need more, though. Oh, man. Bowen Byram now injured. Cool. That's pretty rough. Let's put Dahlstrom in there. Should still get plus five. Yeah, so that's why you do that. Good win. Come on. Can keep stringing them together. St. Louis is a good team. We got to beat those good teams. That's what I'm talking about. Five to two. Oh, my God, Vegas. Did you see Vegas' record? Holy hell. I'm sorry, Tyler Schmidt and Has Chaos. You are on the literal worst poverty franchise of all time. Good gracious. Amadio stepped in. How'd he do? Plus one. Four penalty minutes and five games played. No points. Still cannot get points on this third line. Freaking rough. Gotch is even on power play. That's what's a little bit concerning to me. He's even got power play time. He's not producing there. Or not producing enough. Tough loss to Colorado. Can we turn around, though? Chicago? Yes. We, all right. We're starting to beat these better teams and divisional teams. That's really big. Bowen Byram is back. Good for us. Back in you go. Tough loss there, but can we turn it around with a win? Yes, we can. I like that we're not stringing together losses now so much, but we do go. We have a tendency to go into that win-loss, win-loss type thing. God damn, man. All kinds of injuries right now. And that's one that's uh, tough to afford. I'll move Gotch up. And put in Amadio everywhere. Ugh. Whatever. I'll just put Amadio in here. It won't matter too much. It was only a minor concussion, so you know he'll be back soon. Another, ah, so there we go. Lose two in a row. Cool. All right, let's check out some growth then. I don't. I, I, we're right there. Like we're we're in a three-way tie for second, but we need to we need to put some distance. We need to be able to put some distance between us and the other team. We're not doing that. I think we could do that. We we I think we have the capability. It's just I don't know, man. Good growth here. Shirkov looking good. Lampman's got some growth. Walton's got some growth. That Callahan guy. For that, he, yeah, he, he was drafted the year before last, and he shot up, man. Whoa. Look at that production in Prince George. He's, he's almost two points per game. <laughs> That's insane. Dalton Callahan, I'm liking how he's looking. Yes, sir. And we're getting some solid growth here. Indeed. Of course. Look who's in growing. For the most part, we're getting some pretty good growth. Yeah, I can't really can't really complain too much about it. We're getting growth where we should and where we need. So good for us, yay. So growth's going good. But we have to start finding more ways to win games. That's just Plain and simple what we got to do here. So let's see if we could do that here throughout this next stretch. Uh, another loss. Wildfire their coach. We at least got a point out of it. I don't think we'll miss the playoffs, but with how tight this division is, you never know. 
It's a very tight division here. It really is. Like, if we somehow drop out, man, that's not good. Obviously. Come on now. God damn it. These losses are killing us, guys. Let's go. Take that. Take those easy points. You better, yeah. We can't afford to drop any easy points here. Another regulation loss. Holy hell, guys. Come on. We're better than this. I know we are. Fuck me. Apparently, we're not. Apparently, we're not. <sighs> Pretty rough, but I mean, I guess it was to be expected. I just don't like how we're not scoring enough. We should be scoring way more, dude. Like, I'm looking at the, for those first line numbers when they when we kind of... I, I took a glance at them. We don't have any one point per game in the forward end. Bull crap. Come on. We, we, got, we have the guys necessary to get there. It's just, you guys got to get good. You guys got to get good, man. We have the skill necessary. Just friggin' produce, man. Those first two lines should have zero trouble producing, but it seems like they're wildly inconsistent right now, which I'm not a fan of. And second line's built, all, like, not to perfection, but it's built, like, it should just produce. Like, it might not have good chemistry, but it's going to produce. It's got a guy who shoots a shit ton and two guys to pass to him. What's the issue, right? Interesting. Just very, very interesting. What's happening here? But <laughs> it's what we have to deal with, man. It's <laughs> we're, we we got we got gutted after winning that cup, and that's why we went all in. And we knew it was gonna kind of happen anyway, right? So might as well get something out of it. We got another cup win out of it. Uh, we're not going back there this year unless we get insanely lucky, simming in the playoffs. We got to get to the playoffs first, though. We got to get there first. And right now, we are struggling a bit. Not to say that we should miss the playoffs. I don't think we'll miss the playoffs, but it's it's a possibility. It's a possibility if we don't figure it out. And uh, trying to get as much scouting done here. <laughs> Yeah, whatever. All right, keep going, Winnipeg. Ugh, another loss. Yeah, we get a point out of it, but now we're at the All-Star break. We're third in the division. I want to get to. I want to get second in the division this year, but we just dropped down to a wild card now. There's a trade. Another trade. Not Tyler Schmidt. There we go. Looks like we won two games right there. Back into third. Into second now. Let's create some separation in second. I don't think we're getting first, but let's just create some separation here. Come on. We're a better team than this. There we go. Nice shutout victory. Keep scoring. Keep shutting it down. Damn it. Now we're back and forth. Just, it's just, ah! And these injuries are killing us, man. Absolutely killing us here. Oh, these injuries. They're hurting. They are hurting. Because it keep happening to like these these guys that we can't really afford it to happen to. That doesn't give us... Whoa there. Why? God, the menu lag pisses me the hell off. He wasn't out for too long, was he? I don't think so. It was like a sore knee or something minor like that. It feels like for a month I would, I would make better changes, but it's really... I think it's just for a couple days here. All right, there we go. Trevor Wong, February 19th. That's minor as well, but we don't really have anyone else. Worst possible situation right now. I'm doing that. I know it's not great, but we should get the other guy back right now or not. Whatever. Oh, we're winning these games anyway. He's, he's coming back after this next... Oh, after the 19th game. We're winning games, though. Except for that one. Trevor Wong is back. Okay. Yeah, Dalston was playing like power play center. <laughs> it's not ideal, but... Um, injury's just pissing me. They're just pissing me off. There we go. Back in he goes... When is okay there? Yeah, okay. I thought he was gonna. I thought it wasn't too long. I just had to double check there. It wasn't. It's not too long. Yeah, he's back right now. 
So there we go. Dude, this lag is killing me. I'm clicking really fast and it's just so slow this game. Almost unbearable. Optimization. Come on, beat Chicago. We need to beat that team. Nah, dude, they're so good. I don't know what the hell they're, they've done. Alright. 38, 22, and 3. Got third in the division. But we're it's tight. It's tight. I mean, we don't have much separation. We're third in the division. But we do have both wild cards at least so we should like i said we should make the playoffs almost regardless but what i don't like is our, our overall production here from our, our top two lines i'm not i'm not liking it i don't know if there's much we could do to improve upon it though yeah our goals for is about where it's been all year it's really hurting us not having a third line that can also produce but i thought that our top six would be good enough to kind of carry us i thought we'd be up near at least at like 3.3 .3 and not higher. Like, I thought we could still be one of the best production teams, but apparently not. At least our goals against is better. Like, we need that, but power, yeah, power play's not good enough. Penalty kill got better, but power play's really lacking. Yeah, pretty rough. <clears throat> let's let's see how we stack up to, to the league in a lot of areas. I know our goals for us not going to be anywhere near the top. Oh, well, man, we're like middle of the pack, maybe even lower. Okay, we're middle of the pack. I don't know if that was top 10. It's close to top 10, but more middle of the pack. Goals against. This is better. We're third in goals against, but look at Tampa. That's filthy. We're at least we're third in goals against, though. So we have good defense. Power play, though, way, way not good enough. It's going to be outside the top 10. Outside the top 10, middle of the pack, but yeah, not good enough. Penalty kill even. So special teams that are, nah, we're not doing good. Not doing too good. Yeah, middle of the pack penalty kill as well. So yeah, that that's some issues for us. P special teams are an issue. Most I, our defense is improving. Mostly it's scoring and defense, or <laughs> scoring and defense, uh, scoring and special teams. Look at this. Look at Shifley. Really, you only got fifty-five points in sixty-three games played. Playing with who you're playing with? Come on now. Caulfield's really doing good. He's wow. He might actually win the Mauricio Shard on the second line, mind you. Huh. I wonder if I moved him up onto the top line for a bit. I know chemistry wise, it would kind of hurt us, but maybe that's something we should try because he's goal scoring like a monster. Line is not goal scoring enough. Uh, I mean, I like where their production's at, but they're just not doing enough. Ehler's not getting enough either. And then there's look at the drop off. Twenty points is the next guy from fifty. That's not good enough. We need yeah. Tessier, he's doing okay. I would love to get more assists from the guy, but I mean, yeah, that's probably where some of our goals are coming. I don't know. I don't know. Hellbuck's doing better. Wharton's doing fine as the backup. Hellebuck's numbers continue to improve. That's great for us, but... Yeah. Hopefully, penalty kill continues to trend in the right direction. So I could try something like this. Move Caulfield up onto the top line for a bit. Have him play with Shifley line A. But this puts no goal score on this line. So I don't really feel great about doing that. I think that I might actually might make things worse. The other thing I could do is do that. But that, I don't think we should do that to line A. I don't know. Yeah. Power play, though, man. What can I do to improve upon this? I think it might be Morrissey and Honka here struggling. Five points on the power play only. That's not great. What's Morrissey at? Five points as well. Yeah. Those two guys back there not getting a whole lot. Caulfield, what do you got on the power play? Seven and 11. Not bad. 
10 points total. Gotch has got four. That's not good. Gotch is a weak link, which is interesting considering his offense is actually quite good. That's what's weirding me out. Like, his offense is good, but he's just not producing. Yildiz has only got 10 points. He is on the point, but... Yeah, see, our first unit is really not doing good, power play-wise. Like, look at the power... Look at that. Only nine points on the power play. Seriously? Our power play is really struggling. Really struggling. It's it's bad. I don't know what else to say about it. It's just bad. Maybe put the power forward on the point. What what's really that gonna do? Who knows? Try Ehlers back up top here. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know if that really does much. <laughs> Another thing we could do is to load the top unit. That actually gives us a plus in both places. We could do something like this for the top. Like get Caulfield on the top unit. Just fire pucks in that. We got Caulfield who shoots a lot. Line A and Tessier. Again, problem is now we don't shoot on the second units. But. Honestly, whatever. I'd rather have Caulfield. I'd rather have like our first unit just getting tons and tons more. Who knows? I don't know. We'll try this out for the power play. It, it Something needed to be shaken up essentially. So we're doing that like this. Get them on their one timers just cause. I'll leave the defenseman there. I don't think it'd be much better with Roslovic on there or anything. So yeah, we'll try that out. See how it works for us. I was really hoping that Veseline would get some stat growth and have a really he might still get a bit. But yeah. Um here we are at the trade down line. Thing is, we can't we don't really we can't really afford to bring in anyone else, but. What I will do is do what we need to do. I forgot to check at other point, but I'm pretty sure it's to the trade deadline or around the trade deadline. Yeah, there we go. Okay, look. Oh, beautiful. They all want extensions. Tessier, what's he after? Jesus, that's a lot of money. It'll be less, though. Less than what he's being paid now. Oh, my God. These price tags. I can't give you eight years, Ealer. I just can't. Well, for most of them, we can save money. Seven years, or I don't know. Let's see what seven-year price tag is going to be. That would be 9.4 something. Jeez, yeah, we're going to have to... Sp yeah, and that's, that's really all we could do. All right, for the extra year... gonna be 9.8 uh, we're saving a tiny bit here we'll do a seven-year extension for like right there it's not much of a savings but it is a savings Wong's the rough one though I would love to give him a long-term deal but dude wants cash I can do four years for him Says he'd be RFA at that point. I don't think that's true. How much do I want to give Ehlers is the is the question. It'll be it. It's whatever. Yeah, it's the same thing no matter what. So either four years. I'll probably do three year extension just because I don't want him to decline too heavily. So let's do that. We can get him for 8.2 for three years. So we'll save a bit more money like that. Not a whole lot, though. Not as team-friendly as I was hoping for. That's for sure. That price for three years. Maybe do a three-year for Wong to save as much as we can. It says RFA. I don't think it will be, though. But we can't. I can't. I would love to give him long-term, but I just can't. Let's see the difference. It's not much of a difference between. That's where the big difference comes. Three and four years isn't much of a difference. If 
five year jumps up quite a bit. Let's see what four years does. That's eight mil flat for four years. It's not too bad for a second line center now. But that's not we're not saving money with them now anymore. But I I don't think we're gonna be able to. So if I did that, like like I said, I don't think he's gonna be RFA. I I really don't. Think the game lies about that crap all the time. And it's gonna be seven eight five essentially, or seven eight two five if we did that. So eight with an extra year or seven eight two five. Again, I don't think he'll be RFA. He will be 25, but this will be his second contract after his entry level. I wish I could tell, like, for sure, but I just can't. Yeah, I'm going to do four years just to be... Yeah, I think that's a better option here. Four by eight. If only Wong wanted more team-friendly deals. Gardner, Shearwood. They're worth doing if they want two ways, but they don't. They want about the same thing. All right. Well, those are our offers. We're not saving too much money. It's pretty much the same, and we just kind of extended them. So, ugh. It's going to be tough. It's going to be pretty tough here. In the coming years. But it is what it is, I guess. I'll have to have to figure it out. So uh, what should we do here at the trade down? I don't know if we, know if we can do much. <laughs> we can't really, don't really have cash to do a whole lot. Maybe improve the bottom six. That's about it. But geez, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think here at the deadline. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one.